With only about 2 million Ugandans out of 36 million connected to the national grid, there is great potential for the growth of solar energy. The Ugandan government abolished import duty on solar equipment under the East African Community Framework, as well as exempting value-added tax in order to make it more affordable, hoping the country's 85% of grid population will now embrace the technology. Even though we exhaust all the available hydro power stations, given the built dams and the non-built dams, even though they're all built, still we shall have a gap of, of around uh, 10,000 megawatts. So that shows that the need for alternative energy, the need for solar is so much. But even with this want, the adoption of solar energy has had a slow pace in Uganda, with only a few local entrepreneurs tapping into solar power. 28-year-old Ronald Kipsoy from eastern Uganda has installed panels on the roof of his house, which he uses to supply clean electricity in his village. He, however, says the main challenge is the upfront cost for solar equipment is still very high. The main challenge is when you have little money, actually it is not easy to, to, to begin giving the neighbors power. And then you need to get a good quality of solar, which the, you know there are two types of solar, there are these flat solars and there are those magnetic solars. When the water is kulume, they can at least get some power. So if you don't have enough money or you don't observe properly the, the best panels, they will buy those big bad ones and then they will, they will fail. Though still small, solar projects like this one, if multiplied, could just be the answer of tackling the problem of providing power to off-grid communities. Using off-grid solar power will also promote distributed generation of electricity which could free end users from monthly bills by enabling them to harness the power of the sun and convert it into electricity. Uh, for example, a homestead in which needs 500 watts worth of solar system may require $2,500 US dollars to invest in this equipment. Uh, but the challenge is this, 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 this home he has got to pay this at once as an initial installment, as an initial payment. When the same person who needs that amount of energy in his home using hydro, he can pay it over time. But the challenge is this person who's putting electricity or hydropower is going to be paying over and over years. The government has launched the Energy for Rural Transformation program with an aim of increasing rural energy accessibility to 15% by 2014. Alan Chiro, CCTV, Eastern Uganda.